Hello, it is April 1st, also known as Wednesday of the fifth week of Lent. The One Percent Challenge today takes us to chapter 8 in John's Gospel. It begins like this. Jesus said to those Jews who believe in him, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. The truth will set you free. I wonder if in these days we are beginning to wonder what the truth is or if we are beginning to explore the truth a little bit more. The truth that seems so very common everywhere on TV and email messages that we will get through this together. We will get through this together. A month ago that wasn't the common truth all over the world, all over our country, all over our community. But today we are aware of and think about so many more people and don't worry about the things that might separate us but worry about the reality that there is an illness that is a serious illness that causes sickness and is causing death the coronavirus poses a threat that knows no borders as catholics as those who follow jesus christ neither does our love and concern for our neighbor neither does our love and concern for our neighbor so I wonder how it is at times that we explore the truth. Jesus tells us that if we get to know him and become his disciples, we will know the truth and there will be some freedom that comes from that against all the other things that go on. And so today I thought I would invite you to go to the first reading on this Wednesday of the fifth week of Lent, in which we read from Jan chapter 3 and from the prophet Daniel. Daniel was speaking to a people who maybe like our time were very discouraged, and felt oppressed and had lost a lot of the freedom. There was a new king that overpowered them. Many of the people of Israel, his name was Nebuchadnezzar, and he wanted the people of Israel to worship his God and to bow down to the golden statue that he had made. And many, we're going to read about three, who chose not to do that. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And he was so upset, the king Nebuchadnezzar, that he threw these three people into a hot, fiery furnace. And they said when they went into the furnace, we do not know if our God can save us from your hot, fiery furnace, but we do know that we are not going to worship your God and bow down to your statue. And that truth gave them great freedom and great courage. Gave them great freedom and great courage. So, at a time when so many of our freedoms have been changed or limited for the good of others, and we choose to do that, what are we learning about where the true freedom comes from in our life. I was reading someone who had not been thinking much about God, but along the way he discovered that being in a relationship with God in prayer, that was his lifeline, and he would say this, faith is either or. It is either God or well the rest does not matter. Choose what you will, but if you choose anything other than God, you lose out. Both you and your choices are lost. Faith is an either or. It is either God or well, the rest does not matter. Choose what you will, but if you choose anything other than God, you lose out. Both you and your choices are lost. Jesus says to us that the truth of him will set us free. And we know that as Catholics, those who follow Christ, Neither does our love and concern for our neighbors separate us. It knows no borders. We began this fifth Sunday of Lent with this prayer that the church gave for us, and I think it's a good way that I'd like to end today. It goes like this. O Lord our God, by your help, may we walk eagerly in that same charity with which out of love for the world your Son handed himself over to death. May we walk eagerly in that same charity with which out of love for the world your son handed himself over to death. The truth will set us free. So what is the truth? You believed, perhaps before all this virus came to our lives. What is the truth that maybe now, as you are having a new world put in front of you and an opportunity to spend more time in prayer, prayer and draw close to the one who laid down his life to teach us that it is in our love for one another that we find greatness and that we do transform our world.